Hello everyone. This is What's Up Wednesday for October 23rd. Um, today we're going to be covering lead generation for the property websites. Um, next week we will be doing IDX setup. Um, we haven't done it, I don't think, since um, we have the new advanced search um, to choose from. So we're going to cover that next week. We'll cover the basic and the advanced search. Uh, this week we're just going to go through a couple of things for lead gen on the property websites. Um, and then some new things that are here. Some new things that are here. We have um, auto post to social media now for your properties. I know I pro I've mentioned it before, but I wanted to mention it again, um, where you can set it up to automatically post your properties to different social media sites. Um, you do need something like Buffer or Hootsuite to, um, as part of a connector. Um, but that is easy. And then if you want to set that up for your properties, you're going to go to property and then options. And then here you'll see the social media posting controls. Um, and then, like I said, you'll need buffer and Hootsuite and it works through our Zapier connection. So here's your different options for posting. So that way, if you have your account set up on automation, and then you have to automatically pull your listings in, and then you have the social media posting uh, automatically, then it really is more of a hands-off for the property websites, and it gives you more time to do what you need to do instead of worrying about this. Um, so you can set that up there. Um, that was under property and then options. Another new thing is the, we now automatically put the lead generating pop-up on the property websites um, so that you can get more leads from them. Uh, so if you view a property website, you're gonna see that this now automatically pops onto every one of your property web websites. Um, right now, since this is so new, you can turn it off per property if you want. Don't know why you would because it is a way to get leads. Um, from people visiting and it, they, we even make it easy with continuing with Facebook so it'll fill in their information. Um, but you can change what this says, but just so you know, it is now popping up automatically on all of the property websites and you'll see they do have an option to, um, to say no thank you. Um, but just so you know that that is now popping up. We're trying to help you guys get more leads for these properties. So that's why we went ahead and made that um, automatic so you don't have to worry about that and it just gives you another way to get leads from the websites. Um, and another thing, some of you may have noticed this as soon as I went to the properties page, but you'll notice there are some more buttons on here. We tried to um, listen to you guys to see what was the most important things to you, what you use the system for the most, and so we wanted to try to make it easier to get to certain functions for the property websites. So we went ahead and these five are still the same. So nothing's changed there. We haven't moved anything out of a section and put it somewhere else. Um, we just kind of made things a little bit easier. So what you'll notice is that um, obviously we still have the URL here. Um, we have the text code here now so that you can see what it is really easily for the property. Um, your important links are right here for the property. This is where you put in open house times. Super easy, click on that, takes you right to it. This is where your YouTube video is. Um, if you wanna generate it, if you wanna see it, that kind of thing, it's gonna be here. This takes you right to the property flyers. So it's super easy to click there um, to get to the flyers, to edit them or to download them, things like that. And then this is the listing presentation for the property. So it's super easy to just click on that, takes you right to the property specific listing presentation <clears throat> so that you can use it uh, at a meeting or at an appointment, or if you just want to take a look at it, you can do it from there. So hopefully this helps out. Give us some feedback um, of what you think if um, about the new buttons and everything. Um, but since we're covering lead generation for the property websites, um, there are quite a few ways to do lead generation for the property websites. Um, the first being that pop-up that we saw. Um, this pop-up that shows up on the property websites, and it's not gonna show up now since I've already been to it. Let's try this one. Well, don't know where it went. Um, but that lead generating pop-up 
is great because people will put their first and last name in because um, it says thank you for visiting 123 Sandcastle. If you would like to stay in touch about other listings in the area, please fill out the form below. So if someone's looking to buy a home, they would be willing to put in their information. Um, and if not, they can just click no thank you. But this is one good way for lead generation. And like I mentioned earlier, it is now showing up automatically. So you don't have to go turn this function on um, at all. So it is just showing as soon as you um, create a property website, this will be part of it. So, and they can continue with Facebook, which makes it really easy for their information to fill in as well. Um, and obviously, as soon as they fill this in and click stay updated, it's going to notify you with a lead um, that somebody filled this out for this listing. So there's one way for lead gen for the property websites, and it's nothing you have to do because like I said several times, it automatically pops up there now, um, which is really great. Another big lead generator for the system is this text code right here. You can do a lot of things with this, with this text code. Uh, but one thing, two places I really uh, find it important are the property flyers. So if you have your flyers for a listing, it is going to automatically populate. Let me pick a different website. That one doesn't look very good. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, flyers. So this is your flyer for your property website. Obviously you can edit it, but that's not what this webinar is about. Um, but we'll automatically put the text code on it as well as the price and the website address. Um, but the text code will automatically appear on these flyers so people can text for more information about the listing. Um, if they want to see more photos or anything else about the listing, they can text um, for more information and you immediately get an email and or a text notification that someone is texting for more information about this property. Now, these flyers can be put in the flyer boxes. You can put them wherever you want um, to notify people that this listing is for sale. Um, you can print them off. Uh, you can have them printed here. You can download the PDF and you can have them printed elsewhere if you'd like locally. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, the text code appears here. Another important place I find the text code to be that you should have is print material. So you can order print material for any listing from the little shopping cart here. Once you click on the shopping cart, our different print materials you can order come up. Um, one important one is the sign writer. This sign writer you would order, it goes on top of or hangs below your for sale sign on the house or at the house, and it's generally gonna say, text for more information or get instant information, text blah, blah, blah to blah, blah, blah. That is important because someone is sitting in front of the house wanting more information on this listing. So they text about it. They immediately get a text back with all the important property information and a link to the property website. You immediately get a lead that someone is texting for more information on the property. So the potential that they are sitting in front of that listing when you are notified of them texting is great. And then you could still call them while they're still sitting in front of the property saying, hey, I saw you were interested in this listing. Did you wanna, um, did you wanna go inside? Did you wanna schedule an appointment or anything like that? So you, it's a great lead generator and it can be instantaneous that you get somebody that's interested in a property. Um, same thing, uh, the text code will show up on most of the print material, uh, water bottle labels, um, different things like that, door hangers, postcards. Um, so you can order these here. Um, you can also go through our print shop area and order custom just about anything um, and have the text code included on that as well. So I really like the text code. I think people like the ability to text for more information, not having to necessarily talk to somebody right away, um, but that does give you the option to contact them or however you want to handle it. But text code is a good lead generator for the system. Um, another good lead generator for the system is going to be social media sharing. We've made that really easy too. Uh, we have a share button right here where you can share to social media and once you click on that you'll get your social media postings now remember you can post anywhere you want um, <clears throat> because we do give each property website a url and you can take the link and use it uh, however you want 
And remember that wherever you put it, now that that registration pop-up is on the property website, you can get lead generation. Um, so yeah, you can post it to social media, you can post it to Craigslist. Um, you, we have the Craigslist poster in our system that you can use. Uh, you can also email the listing. If you have a database of people in your CRM or, or wherever in your email, um, you can email this listing. The way it works is you email it to yourself and then you can send it to anybody. So you could have a whole host of people. Um, if you send it out to a lot of people through email, again, it's going to, if they click on the email, then it's going to have that pop up um, when they view the property website through the email and they could fill it out and you get more leads that way too. Um, super easy to post to Facebook and things like that. Well, I'm not logged into Facebook, so um, it won't show right. Um, but super easy, it's like two clicks for you to post to the social media sites. Um, and then the Craigslist poster has a few more screens, but still easy to do. Um, so posting to social media also gets that property website out there. Another thing for lead generation that I like, if you see this links, this is your important links for the property websites. So you can go here at any time if you're needing a specific link, like a link for the virtual tour or a link for the website. Um, but you also have the MLS compliant virtual tour link, which means it's unbranded. So you can copy and paste onto your MLS the virtual tour URL. Um, and then once you do that, it's also loaded into Zillow, but it loads into Zillow as a branded tour. So that is another way to get more traffic to the website. Um, you have three links here. And the reason we have three different ones here is because different MLSs require different kinds of URLs. So you can either contact your MLS to see which one they need or just try all three and one of them will work, which is probably a little bit faster. So use the MLS compliant virtual tour link and that will um, allow you to have more traffic to the virtual tour on the MLS as well. Another good lead generating tool is the YouTube video. Each property, um, depending on what plan you're on, but each listing has a YouTube video automatically generated when the property is activated. And uh, that will go by default to our YouTube channel. Now we all highly recommend you having your own YouTube channel and then authorizing us to post your videos there. It helps with SEO, especially for you. If you have your own channel, you have videos going to it. Um, you just have to come to that YouTube section that I was just at. Let me go back so you can see where I went. Um, you just click on YouTube and to authorize us to post these to your channel, you just click on, I have my own YouTube channel and follow the prompts. It's just going to ask you a few things. Um, you have to be logged into your YouTube, uh, account and then it's super easy and you only have to do this authorization once. And then in the future, after you do this, any listing that's activated automatically has the video generated to your YouTube channel and on the YouTube video, let me on the YouTube video. Um, it has the text code, the website URL. So again, you've got people going to the property website if they want more information, um, texting the text code and um, And then um, They you get more leads from that as well. Um, another thing you can do for um, more exposure and lead generation for the property websites is going to be again under these important links. And I think I covered this in last What's Up Wednesday, so I'm not going to go completely through it, but I just want to remind you of it. Is the property blog. Down here it says post your blog. A blog is a property blog. That's what we call it. Um, you have two different layouts to choose from and um, you can post this, you can create the property blog, helps with SEO, and um, that's another way that you can get that lead generating going, lead generation going for the property websites. Um, just so you know, we also create an SEO page for every property website. You cannot edit it at all, um, but we create it specifically to help um, this property website in the search engines. Um, so that is also another way that can be lead generation. 
And then obviously doing open house dates when you have an open house and then posting that to Facebook. Um, so if you can see, there's a lot of different ways to do lead generation for these property websites. Um, some of them happen automatically like the text code and then you can order the print material. Um, they show up automatically on the flyers. Um, some of them are just a few clicks um, and then that's, it's, it's pretty easy to just get some of these different lead generating functions going. Um, for the property website. Remember again that now automatically showing on all property websites is the registration pop up. Um, I don't think it's going to show up on any more because I've clicked on all of them. Maybe this one. No, maybe not. Um, but it shows up automatically so people can fill out their information if they want and then but it is optional so they don't have to as well. All right, so I've covered several ways to do lead generation for these property websites. Now, does anybody have any questions? Cheryl, um, you, your question is, I have a problem each time with the Craigslist post. Has it been simplified recently? Um, I don't understand. I don't know what pro kind of problem you're having, but the Craigslist, our Craigslist poster has been the same for quite a while now, years probably. Um, so I'm not sure what kind of problem you're having. If you're still having it, then contact our um, support team um, and they might be able to walk through it with you. Ah, Annette has a good question. She says, are the text codes reusable? Yes, they are. Um, and I get that a lot, especially with the sign writers for the listing because you don't necessarily want to order one each time, but a lot of people do. They'll just order a new sign writer each time for a listing. Um, but yes, you, we do give you that option to reuse the text codes. Um, it's a very simple process of when you put a new listing in, you can switch the text codes from the old listing to the new listing. And that may sound a little bit confusing, but that's why when you're ready to do it, just call our support team um, or chat them and they can walk you through really quick how to switch them. Um, but if you're going to reuse your text codes, my biggest piece of advice is to order sign writers with just the text code on it. The text code is the lead generator um, or the biggest lead generator for those sign writers. So order, we do have layouts with just the text code on it, not the QR code, not the website address, just the text code. And then that makes it super easy to reuse um, on a new listing. Do we have any more questions? Oh, okay, Ruth has a question. Um, can you re-listen to this webinar on, you, on your own because you missed some of it? Absolutely. We have a What's Up Wednesday YouTube channel, um, and I'll show you where to get to that, uh, that you can go to at any time to watch any of our past recordings. So on your dashboard, you're going to find, whoa, you're going to find the What's Up Wednesday box right here. And up in the top right corner is a, uh, where it says missed it. And that will open up the What's Up Wednesday YouTube channel where you can watch all of the past recordings. Um, it usually takes us a couple of hours to get the, that day's video up. Like if this one will be up later today. Um, but yes, you can always go there to watch the past recordings, Ruth. Annette, um, do we use a pre-existing buffer account? Um, I would think you could. Absolutely, um, because it's just going to be that buffer account with Zapier kind of connection. Um, so I don't think it matters what kind of buffer account you have. Denny asks, is there any lead gen outside of having to take a listing and all the lead gen come from the same? I'm not really sure I understand. Um, I think you're asking if there's any kind of lead generation in our system that doesn't come from a specific property. I think that's what you're asking. Um, if that is what you're asking, absolutely. Um, we have personal websites in here um, where you market yourself. Um, obviously you can market your listings through there too, but there's um, 
Um, the property search function you can have on your personal website that has a pop-up lead generation um, on that and other lead generating pages you can have on that like a home value page and other things. Um, we also have landing pages where you can use to post to Facebook, create Facebook ads with um, anything because um, each landing page gets its own link and you can use that link however you want for lead gen. I've had people use it on blogs, I've had people use it on postcards um, and other things. And then you also have a My Text feature where you can create your own text code and you create your own message to go with it. So you can have that um, on any other kind of advertising. Um, like if you put it on a postcard and it leads people when they text that number, it could lead them to the property search page on your website or it could lead them to a specific um, article you wrote or anything like that. But you obviously are going to immediately get the lead from that text because um, it is a, it's a text code and they're texting for um, that information. So we have a lot of other ways to do lead generation in the website that's not property specific. So I definitely recommend taking advantage of all of those as well. There's no reason to not take advantage of those. Okay, yeah, so Denny, it looks like that's what you were talking about. So good. Hopefully that was helpful. Any other questions? You guys are asking good questions this morning. Anything else? Like I always say, call or chat our support team. They are amazing. They immediately pick up the phone. They immediately answer your chat. You're not going to send in a queue. Um, and they can help walk you through anything. They can help answer any questions you have, create whatever you're trying to do. Um, so always, always, always um, let them know if you need help because they, that's what they're here for. Any other questions? Last call. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, totally forgot to mention this. Um, we are doing another promo. So the promo this week is up to $50 free print material. Um, to go leave us a Yelp review. So go straight to our Yelp page, leave us a Yelp review, and then our team will contact you for um, up to $50 of print material, whatever kind of print material, um, and uh, up to $50. So immediately after this webinar, go straight to our Yelp page and leave us a review, and then our team will give you a call today, and they will um, help you get that ordered. Um, if you're ready to order it, but go to our Yelp page, leave a review, up to $50 worth of free print material. Don't forget. Denny, did you have another question? All right, so it looks like we're good to go on questions. Um, remember, go to Yelp right now. Go to our Yelp page. Write a review on Agent Marketing or something you absolutely love in it. Um, write the review. Then you get up to $50 free print material. So go do that right now, and our team will contact you to get your free print going. So go to our Yelp page, Agent Marketing, give a review, get up to $50 free print. All right, thanks guys. Remember next week we're gonna be covering IDX setup um, for the property search function and hope everyone has a great rest of your week and we'll see you next week. Thanks everybody.